Stephen Eskenazi, congratulations. That was a magnificent century today. What a day to start the championship season. Yeah, fantastic. Um, we were wondering what the odds might have been for Middlesex to be 320 for four at the end of the day on the first day after being sent in. Um, but uh, fantastic for us to settle the nerves going in. I think a lot's been written and a lot's been said about conditions here and the way we've batted over the last little while. But I think we've come into the season with a completely fresh mindset and, and I hope that showed today. And if we can build on today's work and make tomorrow a really good day, I think we're in the driving seat in this game. A lot's been said about the track as well uh, over a number of years. I'll come to that in a moment, but you looked very assured and confident from the off. and. Obviously, you took that confidence out with you. That didn't come from the track originally. Yeah, I think our preparation has been first class. Um, at Merchant Taylor's, we've made conditions there really, really tricky to bat on, and that was something the coaches said to us from the outset. So we knew it was going to be really tough. So going in today, we wanted to make sure we sort of trained hard to play easy, I guess. So, you know, we've spoken a lot. You have countless batting meetings about how you're going to approach it, but fundamentally, everyone has their own game plan. Um, and I think Joshy and I bounced off each other really well there. Um, he looked assured. He looked like he played 100 games before us. So. We were, we were proud of the fact that we managed to put some pressure back on the bowlers, but we were also tight in defence when, when they bowled well. Yeah, a word for Josh DeCares, Sam Robson going down injured ahead of the match. So an opportunity, but also a lot of pressure, especially with the early wicket of Mark Stoneman. Yeah, absolutely. Josh, he's a very level-headed young fella. Like I said, it looked like he had played 100 games before. Um, great head on his shoulders and a very good batsman. So we had every faith that he was going to go in and do a job. We were losing nothing. Obviously, you know, Sam's been our best player and, and we don't want to not see him out there for too long. But it tests our depth and it's fantastic for the club. That guys like him can come back in and, and put their hand up and do a really good job. For yourself, I mean, did you feel in that good nick when you walked out there? I know you said the preparation's been good, but let's go out there. First century of the, the summer in the championship season across the country, I think. Well, I got cleaned up in a practice game after two balls and I thought this could be a tough start. But cricket's funny like that, isn't it? Uh, I think, as I said uh, previously, I'm looking to just enjoy my cricket this year. Um, I'm looking to go and put pressure on bowlers where I can when it's in my zones and trust my defence a little bit more there. So I was happy that I played the way I did and really happy that I could sort of settle the dressing room after the early wicket today too. A word on the pitch. Um, Middlesex have asked for a while for better batting surfaces here at Lords. It looked like you got it today. Um, what would you summarise for the match though? I mean, you'll have to wait obviously until both sides have batted on it as we all know. Um, but I'm sure you'll have looked at the way that they stuck to the task. Didn't get too much reward out of it. So Middlesex, I'm sure, are already form formulating their own plans on this surface. Yeah, I agree with you. We sort of wait and see um, the way we can bowl. You know, we've got a high quality seam attack, four top quality seamers there. Um, who have bowled on this ground for a number of years now. So we have every faith that we can make it really tricky for their boys up top. Um, yeah, I think maybe it was a touch on the slow side, but I still think that when the ball was in the right area for consistent periods of time, it was difficult. Um, there were a couple of good balls in there too. So as I said, I think our boys will be, be challenging tomorrow for sure. How important do you think it is if it is slightly on the slow side, slow side to make sure you're up around 400, 450? Robbie White's obviously produced another good Robbie White innings where he just looks compact out there and tight, doesn't he? And Max gave him uh, a solid partnership as well. Yeah, first inning runs are absolutely crucial. You know, the times that we performed well in the first division or in any four-day cricket over the last six or seven years has been based off the back of big first innings runs. So we're not taking our position for granted at all today. We've got a phenomenal amount of hard work to do tomorrow in the first hour, hour and a half so we can drive this game forward and give our bowlers as much of a cushion as we possibly can.